financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is who should I pay? Ryan Small, good morning. Good morning, Ken. Pleasure to be here this morning. Pat Samasco. I, I like seeing you like this in a little box. Jeffrey Linden. Good morning, Ken. Great. Jeffrey, I see you in a little circle. Well, you know, I'm a, I've been gotten a little rounder due to the uh, at home order these days. <laughs> I think everybody's getting a little rounder due to the uh, shelter in place. Uh, although Brian says he's working out diligently every morning. I am. I am, except for this morning. I, I did miss this morning. This is the new norm. Here we are, and uh, we're doing the show, but we're all doing it from our homes. But uh, it is what it is until we get out, until we get beyond shelter in place. So today's topic: Who should I pay? I want to make something, I want to let the audience realize something. We pre-record the shows, and with COVID, everything is changing on a rapid basis. So some of the relief and the measures that we're talking about, there's a chance things change and develop from the time we've recorded to the, sh the show before you've seen it. So just kind of keep that in mind. We're kind of covering topics that we think are going to sit, stay static through the process. So the biggest question that is coming up right now is cash is short, people have rent to pay, do I pay the landlord? If I have a mortgage, should I pay the mortgage? So I want to focus today's show on really the renter who's got rent to pay and the person who owns the house, should he make his mortgage payment, what should the priorities be? So I thought we would do a case study and our couple for the case study happens to be Corey and Vidian. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Corey that's, Vidian. Wow. 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 Pretty good, huh? Pretty, wow. pretty good to cover a little Larry David. And uh, you got to get back to work, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Family of four, two kids, 10 and 14. Corey make is Corey's got 150,000 in his 401k. Vidian has 50,000 in her 403b. They have 75,000 in credit card debt. Cash in the bank before COVID, $5,000. Now, $1,000. They own a home, fair market value, $350,000. First mortgage, $250,000. Two car payments, $475 a month, three and a quarter. Okay, now let's talk about their mortgage. Option A if it is a government backed mortgage. Which would mean what, Brian? Well, that's about two thirds of the mortgages in the in the United States: F HUD, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, the VA mortgage. Anybody that has a mortgage that is uh, supported by the federal government, those mortgages have certain types of relief available that private mortgages don't. Okay, so a so what we were, so we're talking about government backed mortgages, and if it's re this is a very important fact from the standpoint of where you stand on your mortgage. If you want to know if you have a Fannie Mae or a Freddie Mac mortgage, just Google, look up Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. You'll get the link, and then you can go forward. If you look on the screen, we're putting them. Uh, we'll put it up there for you so you can see it. But under the CARES Act, it states if it's a federally backed mortgage, you have the right to request a, re a, de a referral on your payments, and you're entitled to 180 days, and you're entitled to an extension of an additional 180 days. It's mandatory on a government-backed government loan. There, the there's, a is, lot, there's a lot of risk, though. People need to understand that it's a deferment. It's not a modification. Does the interest go? No, they stop the interest too, right? 
you, you don't make the payment. So let, let me go on and then we'll go into the cautions, Brian, because the, the first thing first thing you have to know is this. You must request it. So if you sit there and don't make the mortgage payment and don't request it, you're not meeting the act. You have to pick up the phone, call the lender, request the deferral, and you have to tell them that it's because of a COVID hardship. And you have to be careful not to let them trick you into saying it's not because of that, because then you're not entitled to it. You know, another another thing that we don't know is whether or not you have to call before you fall behind. In other words, if you miss your mortgage payment on May 1st and you call them on June 17th to ask for a deferral, are you entitled to it or did you have to call for and they request the deferral before you sure. actually became late. So you'll find out when you, if you're already behind, you'll find out when you call. But the, that's the, the stupidest people, thing I've ever heard. I know it's stupid, but that's this is you gotta be careful with the government, government, and these are mortgage companies, and they don't act rationally. So, so you, do, you do need to be careful. Now, there was an important declaration that came out of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau on April 15th, extremely important, and what it said is missed payments will have to be paid back by the borrower to make sure, make sure everyone's clear, but mortgage servicers are responsible for working with the borrower to set up a repayment plan that works for both parties. The missed payments can be added to the normal monthly payments, paid back all at once, tacked on to the end of the loan, or the borrower can have the term of the loan extended. Now, what is it known? This is a pronouncement by the CFPB. Now, think about that. We've talked about the CFPB on the show back in the Obama administration. It was coming down on the banks for all the abuses when the Trump administration took over and Mulvaney was heading the administration and brought his donuts over to the CFPB. They stopped doing anything pro-consumer. Now they're reinvigorating. This is a positive step pro-consumer, and it is a directive telling the mortgage servicers they have to work with the lender. So that's positive. What the specifics will be, we don't know, but this does give a definite, clear indication. If you have a federally backed loan, you want to go ahead and pursue the mortgage deferment. You call and you request it. You say it's because of a COVID problem and they have to work with you. You will then find out what the terms of that deferral are. And if the terms don't sound good, then it's going to be a different question for us to investigate. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out, and you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us. We're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We will create a plan and get through this together. Thavgos will solve your problem. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, 
It's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Okay, we're back. So option A was federally guaranteed mortgage. We're a federally backed mortgage. You've got this deferral option. It's a good play. And if you're tight on cash, it makes sense to do it. Now option B. The other Before you go to option B, let me remind people what it really is supposed to be. When you defer your loan for six months or a year, no matter which option you take, at that point, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to write a check at the end of the six months or the end of the year if you've gone for two deferrals. The, your opportunity to otherwise modify and repay at a different pace may exist. It is still going to be subject to what the investor and the, uh, the lender agree with you on if they agree. What we don't know is how it will impact your credit score, whether it will impact your credit score. And the fact is, is that they may not agree with what you want. They may offer you something. So be aware that if you take this deferral, the first thing you should be prepared to do is write a check at the end of the six months. Uh, I agree with you, but actually the first thing you should do is when you're getting the deferral, yeah. ask and hopefully find out at that time what the repayment option is and, and see where it's going. Right now, we're in a state of unknown because the CFPB just came out with the pronouncement. How much pressure they put on the lenders and direction they give them in terms of modifications will become known in the future. Unless it, Brian is sure because he does have a crystal ball. At least it's something, though, because if you don't have the money to make your house payment and buy food, buy food. You yeah, know. and as we go on, here, contrast this to what we're going to go in this next option with a private lender and when we get to the renter situation. The guy who's got the mortgage on a federally backed mortgage is in a much better position. All right, so now it's one of the, it's a privately held mortgage. It's not a government backed mortgage. That's Are one they going to tell you. Mortgages. Will they tell you that, Ken, when you call them on the phone? You, they, they will tell you, but if you want to check, go to the to the lookup. Go Google Fannie Mae, Freddie Mae lookup. Pop in your address, and it'll tell you whether you have a federally backed loan, or call your servicer. If it's a jumbo mortgage, it's privately held, typically. All right. So big mortgages are normally not Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. I think I, I don't remember what the limit is, like three fifty, something like that. So if it's not a government-backed mortgage, there is no regulation by the feds. The CFPB has no control, and the CARES Act does not apply. So in that case, the situation is call your lender and ask them what they're willing to do and see if they're willing to do something. There is a spirit of cooperation existing today. How long it will last, I, I agree 100% with you, how long it will last is a question that is unknown. I think it is a fair statement to say it will not last forever and it will become, the lenders will become more aggressive as time goes on, but see what they offer. And whatever they offer, you need to get it in writing. And you also should have it reviewed by somebody to make sure that it's binding so it protects you. If they give you a deferral and it works and it solves your short-term problem, take it. But if they don't, the question is, what should they do? How do you pay your options? How do you pay for the bills? Because uh, here's, here's your remedies. Okay. If you're... They don't offer you a deferral. Ryan, you tell me if you're right. If I don't have the cash, I cannot make the mortgage payment. If you don't, yeah, if you don't have the cash, it doesn't really matter what options are out there. You've got to protect yourself and your family. And food is going to come first. Keeping the electric bill and the gas bill paid so that you have the light and heat are going to come second. The, the reality is, is you have legal options outside of what these quote unquote programs that might or might not exist six months to 12 hey, months. Hey, Brian, uh, let's take it to one more level on the priority though. You got credit cards and house payment and car payment. What's that priority? And what will it matter on your credit score if you pick one versus the other one? Okay, so not paying any single one of those, whether it's a credit card 
or your mortgage are going to have detrimental impact on your credit score. It doesn't really matter because if you're in that position, you have to choose wisely. You have to choose what's in the best interest of you and your family. So look at what mortgage lenders can't do. A mortgage lender can't foreclose unless you're four months behind. So you still, so you have a hundred. That's that's the point that I wanted to get out there is you have three months where you can skip the payments right now. Yes, your credit takes a hit, but you know on your credit score. But you have three months that you can create your own deferral. All the all you're subject to is the late fee at that point. Right. And then then within that, if things get back to being where you're working and you're bringing in your income, you have two roads you could really successfully look at if the lender isn't going to work on the theory that they're going to match up with what the federally backed uh, deferral programs are and things like that. You can seek a loan modification or if the lender won't provide a loan modification. And loan modifications have kind of gone out of style at the moment. We did a ton of them but in 2010, 11, 12. They're but we're about back. to be doing a lot of them again. Okay. Yes. The question is, is, will there be, will they bring back HAMP? I don't know. Or is this going to be kind of a, uh, a, 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 a program? It would be a different program. Yeah. Or will it be mandated versus just suggested, so to speak? The question is on the short term. But so, so here's the point. You can do your own self-help up to four months and not make the payments, but you don't want to let it go to foreclosure. If you let it go to foreclosure and then all of a sudden you get the letter that you're in foreclosure and it's going to sale in a month, you have a remedy. What is it, Brian? We're, we're down to 30 13. seconds before the break. So I want you to- Chapter 13, restructuring. We can force the creditor to accept what you can afford and repay what you've fallen behind over five years instead of fall, instead of repaying it over six months or a year, whatever minimal period of time the lender actually wants. Everybody remember what he said, five years, chapter 13 on the mortgage, because when we talk about the renting situation, you'll see how much different it is. And, and one so little tidbit what, before we go to break, not only will chapter 13 allow you to catch up on those arrears, it'll get rid of all your credit card debt at the same time. We'll be back after the break. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You're all set to retire. You have your home paid off, money in the bank, and sound investments. But if you're not careful, all the things that you work so hard for can disappear. At Samasco Financial, we'll help you prevent that. We go beyond ordinary asset management. We'll safeguard everything that you have by creating a plan made specifically for you. How much can you afford to lose? Nothing. Protect the people that you love and the things that you have. Call Samasco Financial today. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Time for announcements. So I want to remind our viewers to listen to us for One Reality Live on the Praise Network, Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m. and Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m. and on KISS 105.9, Sundays 7 o'clock a.m. Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest. $300 Visa gift card, One Reality hat, and copy of your, my book, Dump Your Debt. We have webinars coming up where you can stay in your home, attend the webinar via the Internet, ask questions while you watch. First one coming up is called the Necessary Estate Planning Steps in View of the Coronavirus. Two times it's being offered, Wednesday, April 29th, 6.30 to 8 o'clock p.m., and Saturday, May 2nd, 9.30 to 11 o'clock in the morning. We're going to go over the key estate planning issues that you need to do in view of COVID. We'll also talk about IRAs under the new 2019 law, 
how to protect your assets for you and your children in view of financial distress. Uh, attendees receive a $300 gold certificate off the cost of any estate planning service that they have gross. It's a good opportunity to really take the time needed to address an estate plan. One of the things out of COVID that people have realized is you absolutely need to have an estate plan. Then on Wednesday, May 20th, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., we have a webinar, COVID or no COVID, how do I address my debt issues? We're going to go through debt problems so that you preserve what you have. You don't want to, want, you don't want to allow your future income to go to solving and paying your past debts. The goal is to take your situation so your future income starts paying current bills and, and the excess goes to savings so you have something to retire with. To retire with. We'll go through all the options using bankruptcy and also solutions outside of bankruptcy. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. You want to sign up at lawandreality.com, thavgross.com, or call 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You can always come into Thav Gross for a free consult. We're doing them via teleconference, phone conference, or once the shelter rule is out, we'll have in-office consultations available, uh, if permitted and when smart. Just call 888-235-HELP to schedule an online uh, consultation or go to the website and there's a box you can click to request a consult. Debt issues with Brian, tax issues with Jeff, estate planning issues with Brian or Pat Samasco, business issues uh, with myself, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner, criminal issues with Scott Weinberg. Sign up at thavgross.com, waterreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross and Samasco Law. Now back to the show. COVID-19 presents a fight for our personal and business financial survival. You have to make choices. Cash is critical. Do you tap your retirement, home equity line, or run up the credit cards? You need the right plan to avoid being wiped out, and you need it now. You can't rely on the government or banks. Call us, we're the experts in financial crisis. We are here for you and your business in the Great Recession, and we're here for you now. We'll create a plan and get through this together. Thavgross will solve your problem. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so we're back. Before we go into the next scenario where it's a renting situation, I want to make one point. For Corey and Vidian, they're able to deal with the mortgage situation without hopefully tapping their 401k or their 403b. Because the goal in COVID, if you say to me what the goal is, you want to get through this process without eliminating the equity you've built in your home, and you want to not you want to avoid tapping your retirement funds so that this becomes a pause rather than a usurpation of your entire retirement and equity that you've built up. That's the goal. So if you've built up extra credit card debt, we have ways of getting rid of that without using that your money from your retirement account. It's an important <clears throat> takeaway. Now, next scenario, different case study, two people, Connie and Vidoria. They have the same exact facts <laughs> as Corey and, and Vidoria. And what are your kids' names? <laughs> Jenny and Amy. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> nothing to do with uh, nothing. Your wife with. picked those names out. I bet. Same facts, same 401k, same credit card debt, but they're renting. They're not on a mortgage, and their rent is twenty three hundred a month. They have two years left on their lease. They've got the same car payments. Here's the problem: 
In Michigan, there's a stay that went into place till April 17th, and technically it's probably going to be extended or was extended, but there's also a Supreme Court stay that was entered uh, called Administrative Order 2020-3 that says as long as the emergency is going, if anyone starts an action, you're delayed and you don't have to respond to it until the emergency is over. So it's a way of stopping landlords from evicting. The CARES Act also said if it's a federally backed mortgage underlying the property, you cannot start an eviction until at least July 24th, and then you have to give 30 days notice. After those two things, though, there's no remedy. And in all the situations, it just postpones the eviction. It doesn't eliminate the rent obligation and doesn't create a repayment plan. So when you get to the point where you are facing where the landlord is no longer prevented from evicting you, they can demand all the back rent. So what do you do in that situation, Brian? Well, you got some options. 44 million Americans rent. So the first thing is, is how long did they not pay their rent? Do they have the money? Is there some method to catch up? If there is some method to catch up and they want to stay where they're staying, catching up is obviously the choice. If the landlord won't work out a deal, then the problem is, is, You can look at bankruptcy and you can look at Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which will wipe out the past due rent and wipe out the future. What about staying in the property? Because we only got two minutes left. You know, it's very limited. Chapter 13 might help you. You can utilize Chapter 13 to catch up your lease if you are behind through the end of the lease. Now, this case, this was a two-year residential lease, so there is some time to catch up. So you could spread out over the two years. So, you, so in chapter if you 13, only had six months left in your lease, you're going to be running into a problem. You can pay it out all the arrearage over the six months, right? Right. Chapter 13 isn't going to really be as helpful for you. All right. So here's the point. If you're a renter, and most renters are not paying rent, it's been all over the news, you're in a much more vulnerable situation by not paying rent than you are with a mortgage. With the you're, mortgage you're better off. Firm. You're better off not paying your car payment, not paying your credit cards for sure, credit cards at all, and manipulating the money to what is the most important. In this case, keeping the roof over your head. After that, we can deal with all the the things that you fell behind on otherwise. But if you're living in a tent, it becomes problematic. Hey, can I so ask you a question, guys, real quick? Sure. Those people sure. that own those apartment complexes and rental houses. Do they have any stimulus coming to them? It seems like we're we're helping the consumer. But a lot of people, that's their business. They have the PPP loan for for their payroll, but they don't, and they have the EIDL, but they don't have any direct stimulus. If it's just investment property with not a lot of employees, they don't have that much. They have to go back to their lender and ask for relief. It goes up the chain. They will. Yeah. Here's the point. If you're a renter, don't be so quick not to pay rent. You need more advice and it's got to be more, you got to be more careful. If you're a mortgage holder and it's a federally backed mortgage, call and request the deferral. Have a great week. We will be back next week with Law and Reality. 